STVR. Have you dreamed about purchasing a property here in the Kona area and turning it into a short-term vacation rental? I'm going to be diving into that subject today to clarify any misconceptions that you may have regarding short-term vacation rentals and the accessibility of those. Aloha! I'm Stephen Prosky with the Real Estate Kona team. I am posting videos here each and every week about real estate information, neighborhood tours, and information about the Kona area that I think you would like more about. If this is why you're here, please hit the subscribe and like buttons below. So let's jump into this. If you're thinking about buying a property here in Kona and turning it into a short-term vacation rental. Well, not every property here in Kona qualifies for a vacation rental permit. What the hell are you talking about? Yes, you must have a vacation rental permit, short-term vacation rental permit in order to operate a short-term vacation rental property. So the first thing you need to do is determine whether or not that property qualifies for a short-term vacation rental permit, whether it's a single family home or a condominium or townhouse. That's been the biggest misconception that I have seen since being here with people looking to purchase vacation rental properties. They look at a property, they do the numbers, or maybe they even came over here on the island and used a short-term vacation rental themselves and decided, hey, I can do this. Well, like I said, not every property qualifies and you must do some homework in order to determine whether that property qualifies for a short-term vacation rental permit. The county established regulations back in 2018 for all short-term vacation rental properties. Most condominiums in and around the Big Island qualify generically for a short-term vacation rental permit. But then you have to get into the homeowners association rules and regulations, determine whether or not that community will allow even a short-term vacation rental. Secondly, single family homes generally at this point in time will not qualify for a short-term vacation rental permit. But if you purchase a home as your primary residence and you have space in that property and you would like to rent out on a short-term vacation rental, you can do that without a permit and it's called a hosted permit. The county currently is looking at that stipulation in the regulations that were established back in 2018 and that may be subject to change moving forward this year. Just so you know, when you're searching for short-term vacation rentals via uh, places like Zillow, uh, Redfin, even my own website, uh, they don't have a short-term vacation rental search term as a mandatory field in our multiple listing service. So you're going to need an expert like myself, a licensed realtor here in the Kona area to assist you with determining whether a property qualifies for a short-term vacation rental permit or if there's already a short-term vacation rental permit in place on that property. The majority of realtors here will include that information in the public remarks of their listing, uh, but that's not always the case. So to be you know, certain, uh, that you're not wasting your time and uh, trying to purchase a property that doesn't qualify, I would highly recommend that you ask a professional here on the island to assist you with collecting that data or researching that for you as well. So what defines a short-term vacation rental permit or short-term vacation rental stay? Well, any property that is leased less than 30 days at a time is considered a short-term vacation rental here on the Big Island. And any property that is rented out for 30 days or longer is considered a long-term rental property. So like I said earlier, with a short-term vacation rental, so if you're considering trying to rent out a property that you purchased for less than 30 days at a time, you are going to need a short-term vacation rental permit. Conversely, if you're planning on buying a property and renting it out on a long-term basis, you do not need to have a permit to do that. If you have questions about short-term vacation rental permits or information regarding the Kona area, whether it's real estate or neighborhoods or just general information about the area, please reach out to me anytime. Leave me a comment below. I'd be glad to help you out any way I can. 
So if a property has a short-term vacation rental permit in place and you're considering purchasing it, it is easily transferable to a new owner at no additional cost. There are some paperwork involved that you're going to need to generate, but first of all, you're gonna to need to get a copy of the permit from the existing homeowner. Um, and then all you do is submit that form along with some additional documentations and forms from the county, uh, and you should be able to, to establish a new permit for that property in your name. If a property you're considering purchasing qualifies for a short-term vacation rental permit, and there is not one in place, you can, must apply to the County of Hawaii for that permit. And as mentioned earlier, it's called an STVR permit, short-term vacation rental permit. Uh, there is an application fee of about $500. Uh, there are documentations that will need to be supplied to the county along with your application and your funds. Uh, and it generally takes between 60 and 90 days to obtain a permit if that specific property and complex qualifies for a short-term vacation rental permit. Uh, you cannot operate that property as a short-term vacation rental until a permit is in place, and nor can you apply for a short-term vacation rental permit if you do not currently own the property. So you're gonna to have to wait until you close on that property, and then at that point in time, submit your application to the county for that permit. If you like this information, I'd recommend you checking out some of my other videos on moving to Kona. Thank you very much for checking this video out, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Mahalo!